Welcome back, y'all. What it do? It's your boy, King Crowder, checking back in with another book reaction and review that you need to add to your collection. This book right here is called The Five Languages of Apology. The reason why I think we should add this book in here is because it's something that you need to add to your repertoire and also how to communicate with people. This book is written by a gentleman, by an author named Gary Chapman. Gary Chapman is an author, a radio talk show host, and he's also known for his five love language series regarding human relationships. This gentleman is based, he's from China Grove, North Carolina. He received his BA and MA from a Bible Moody Bible College and Institute. J Gary worked at multiple churches around the land, and he's well known for his Christian based, based speaking and how he handled things. One other book that Gary actually um, has written or typed up that I think is very beneficial, The Five Love Languages of Children, and When Sorry Isn't Enough. This first edition that I really found great was about the five languages of an apology. <laughs> The first thing that I found that was so awesome that Gary wrote and broke down was how you must expect, express regret. When you express regret, you're not just saying, my bad, I made a mistake. You're empathizing. You're providing clarity and acknowledgement of the problem. Gary writes down that when you show that you made a mistake or a problem or apologizing to someone, you must physically show the emotion. When you're expressing the regret, you want to say the words, I am sorry first. I am sorry for how I offended you. I am sorry for what I said to you. And I am sorry for my actions, not knowing how they affected me. Great thing is how to express regret by uttering those words. The number two thing that Gary wrote about that was tremendous was when you say, I accept responsibility. You must utter the word, I was wrong. I was wrong by how I talked to you. I was wrong for going across your boundaries. I was wrong to being disrespectful to you. Number three, Gary meant when you are making restitution, the word you must mention first when you're doing that is, <clears throat> excuse me, what can I do to make it right? Then you must pause and allow the others to speak. You allowing them to make that category to you, hey, I need you to do this. Not just saying you're going to do it, but changing your behavior so you can make that action happen. The fourth language that Gary mentioned that was really awesome was genuinely repentant. Repentant is a word we associate a lot with Christianity, but I also think it is something that is a tremendous thing that we must practice to ourselves, our spouses, our friends, our lovers, Hey, I'll try to do that again. And when I make that mistake, please give me that grace and courtesy because I want you to know that I am a work in progress. I am trying not to disrespect you in that manner that once happened. I am trying to do better than I did previously. Number five, the last most important thing that I think most people must do, you must request forgiveness. You got to request. That means it could be accepted or denied. But when you extend out that request, what you're asking is that, will you please forgive me for lying to you? Will you please forgive me for pressing your boundary? Will you please forgive me for not doing what I said I was going to do? I think this language will help professionally and personally this book. It allows you to make the connections when situations are fall short upon, when you do not meet expectations. And when you're dealing with people that are younger or older than you, when you have that ability to communicate effectively, even when mistakes happen and how you apologize, it puts you ahead. I would highly recommend you get it. It's a short read, less than 300 pages. Great, really simple, and really easy to do. I would also say that this is one of those things that you add into your repertoire and you can put that skill to you that most people do not have. Again, King Crowder, I'm checking out maybe with a short, quick book review on the five languages. The only negative I can say have with Gary is that I would like an updated version, if I can, from the gentleman. Great book, great first edition. 
added to your collection. It's your boy King Crowder. Checking out. Peace.